Hello everyone and welcome back to Rebus Gaming. We're on Dynasty Warriors 8 and this is the Battle of Tongate Part 1. As this is an incredibly difficult map. As you can see I'll be playing as somebody new. This is Wang Yi. I haven't played as this girl before and I have to say she is an absolute beast. Um, she's got some sort of revenge um, problem <laughs> personality but um, apart from that her move set, her damage, her general charisma, she's pretty solid. So you can see, I'm just going through the little story here, and this is, as I said, the Battle of Tong Gate, and we've got to take out Machao. And that's pretty much it really um, everything goes to shit um, we can't um, I try and do the uh, secret star but that doesn't work because I can't take out the enemies fast enough and yeah um, this is all this is all continuing on this is rebellion from Sao Sao um, after the bat after his defeat at the Battle of Chibi um, and the main reason behind this battle as well is Machao wants reven wants to avenge his father's death. So that's that's it really. I can't find any information regarding this in terms of historical or from the Romance of Three Kingdoms. I don't know if this is something Koei just decided to do. But uh, it's alright, so I'm just gonna stick to talking about the the actual battle itself and what I have to do and the gameplay that you see. So as you can see I'm taking on Yang Fu and the majority of this part will be spent right in front of my main base because the amount of enemies that come it's ridiculous. This is, like I said, this is a very difficult battle. Uh, there's about 10 unit commanders, uh, we've got multiple officers and then when we finally do break away and try to do the secret star we have to take out that enemy officer and Pang De and then once we've taken out Pang De we have to come back to our main camp because Machao decides to run down and take them all out and he comes with a handful of unit commanders and enemy officers as well it's a very very busy map so Wang Yi this is the first time I've ever played as this character in any games um, I can't remember playing her in Dynasty Warriors 7 and her Jumping Muso is the most dangerous Muso I've ever played. If you hit it correctly, if you hit that, if you hit that jump correctly and go onto him, it does some serious damage. And, you know, you double, you know, you get a times two attack, and even Lubu had struggled to defend against that. It's, it is serious damage. And this is a rage attack. It's pretty good. She basically just does a circle with her um, tridents or whatever you want to call them. And murders them all. Good damage, good speed. Not the best, but certainly does what it needs to do. Uh, general attacks are all right. Her area of effect isn't the best, but um, your, her X attack is pretty good. It does a lot of damage, and um, she basically just runs with her tridents in air and just spins them, which is pretty powerful. So I wiped out that entire left hand side there. We're moving on to Zhao Yu and his unit commanders. We'll switch straight to Rage. Uh, sorry, do a switch counter to build my rage, not switch to the rage. And we're gonna just abuse the affinity. Getting the unit get the unit commanders in there as well, hopefully. And this is a normal Muso attack, pretty pretty solid. Um, again it's more focused on PvP with a little bit of splash damage for area of effect. The same with a jumping Muso, it is again a PvP with a splash damage. Her alternate move, so I cannot remember at this moment in time, but we will surely see it. And we're just wiping these enemies out. And as you can see, whilst I'm taking these out, we've got more enemies moving in on the east side of the map again. Uh, sorry, west side of the map. Looking at the east, because that's where I've got to go. Unfortunately, I can't take out these other enemy officers either because I've got to go and catch up with those guys. If I don't catch up with them, I can't trigger their secret star point of view. I do try and do it, but unfortunately, there's not much I can do. And we've got a mixture of all types of enemies as well. That's the alternate move, so it's pretty effective. Um, it's more of a area of effect attack, that one, which is good. So she's got a good balance there. 
And what the, the main problem behind this one is the amount of varying different um, units that are, we're fighting against. We've got the unit commanders, we've got the standard privates, we've got the archers, we've got the horse men. And then we've got the obvious normal enemy officers as well, so we've got a nice little mixture. And if you get too close to the gate, you've got Ballista to fight against, and then you've got the catapults. This, like I said, this one, there's a lot of things going on here. So what we're doing now is we're moving straight up, we're going to where the green markers are on the map, on the east side of the map. And we've got to take out Madai. Once we take out Madai, then we can trigger the secret star. And what we have to do to accomplish this is to take out the enemies that appear. You just have to take them out. The problem is, is because I'm so weak, it takes a certain amount of time to kill them all. Unfortunately, too long. I'm going to do a jumping attack here, and we miss him. We kill a private. Yay. <laughs> so, Madai's weak, weak to my affinity, which is good, and Madai is Machao's cousin, just in case you weren't aware. So these two are normally pretty much in every single battle. If one of them's there, the other one is guaranteed to be there, with his paintbrush. I'm nearly taking him out. Oh man, look at this. Fortunately, we don't get a secret Muso attack done there, which is normally happens. So, right, Sao Sao will now start talk to Han Sui. Or Sui. <coughs> and what you'll see are, if you just keep an eye on the east, and watch what happens in these two little bits here, a lot of enemies will appear. You see, Pang De is suspicious. And so is my chat actually. There you go. So the objective is to take these guys out. So I am trying to do it, and that's why I'm triggering my rage. Try to wipe them out as quickly as possible. And I'm just speeding it up here because there's nothing too exciting. You can see there we got a private saying they're too strong. Now that is the first part. If you can get them to say that again, Pang De gets completely. Um, distracted, as you see, he's partially distracted there. We're trying to do it again, but unfortunately, I can't kill him fast enough. And that's the only that's that's the benefit behind it. And to be honest, if you don't do this, you, it's a shit storm because your morale drops dramatically. And you know what happens when morale drops? They get more more um, stronger. Yeah, there you go. I failed to lure him. They uh, the enemies get stronger. There you go. That's how close I was to missing it. The enemies get stronger and um, the the battles outside of your view end up in the enemy's favour as well so your allies start to die as well. So now we've got to deal with Han Sui, Sui and Pang De. Not too much of a problem to be honest because Pang De is weak to my affinity so it's just a case of using my rage to wipe them out. And again we've got the unit commanders, we've got the horses, we've got some archers around as well. So it's just very busy and very difficult to get stuck in there. Because the archers, they, obviously they slow you down. If, you, if they hit you as well they do a serious amount of damage. The horses knock you on the floor which is very frustrating. You can see we've got Pang Day in the background there so I'm just going to hit him a little bit. Use a bit of the rage time. And then I'm going to trigger the rage. Get rid of the all them horses as well. Hold. We did if we did have Hans in there, I think he's still there, yeah we've got him. We've got Pangette as well and a unit commander in there as well. And there we go, completely wiped out this entire area. That's good. And now what I do now is we go on to the first gate and we take out the blister and that'll allow us to move forward. As you can see it's there take this one out and then there's another one just a bit further up and once you take them out you want to return to the main camp because that's just about to get a bit busy so before you see the action that'll be on part two so please go straight on to part two as as soon as you finish this one because that will be action packed from the very beginning and i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you on the next episode